There's a great line from Ernest Hemingway, uh, The Sun Also Rises. One of the characters is asked, how did you go bankrupt? And the answer is two ways. First, gradually, then all of a sudden. You don't realize it's happening as it's happening, and then it happens, and it's only in hindsight that you say, we should have seen this coming. There are tectonic shifts happening in the consumer and retail space that is causing a tipping point to occur right now. And I would argue that the ship has sailed for most of the big CPG firms who frankly should have seen this coming because these trends were fairly obvious for some time, but they didn't. Every big consumer product good firm is, is showing declining sales. So what are people eating? They must be eating something. Well, clearly we're, we're still eating. You have great companies like Aldi and Trader Joe's and, and Costco and Kroger creating private brands that have a merit on their own. They are no longer considered uh, less expensive versions of national brands. They are bringing this incredible deflationary pressure on the entire food supply chain. So I think that's really interesting right now and I think it is a permanent shift. So you've got this growth of discount, and then there is an unbelievable growth industry in the United States of entrepreneurial startups creating brands that both feel and in fact are authentic. They are foods that we understand and we trust. And we don't mind as consumers paying a little bit more for product that we feel good about. So it's sort of contrary to this deflationary pressure we're seeing, we are seeing people willing to pay up for product that they believe in. Stuck in the middle, unfortunately, are hundreds, thousands of grocery stores that do neither of the above. And I think we're gonna to continue to see a shakeout in that space. In evolution, things die off, new things emerge, things evolve. And I think that's where we're at in retail. You have the confluence of several things coming together, which I believe are about to dramatically change the cost structure of delivering groceries to consumers. Number one, you have robotics, which are getting better every day. You have big data, which is a way to learn what consumers actually want in their food. And you have the potential of autonomous vehicles, be that little vehicles or drones, delivering those products all the way the last mile to your home. This is no longer science fiction. This is happening today in China, in England, and in parts of America. It's just a matter of somebody pulling it all together and making it work. And I think we're gonna look back at 2016, 2017 and say, that's when it really changed. Mm -hmm.